Well, I guess it's official. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel, Get It Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel is PC Tech Games and Gear. Before we get into today's topic, remember that the $100 giveaway is going on for about another week up until when these GPUs launch. You can enter that if you haven't already down in the description. 12,500 subs is my next giveaway goal. These giveaways are to just say thanks to the community that's helped me grow from 200 subs to over 11,000 in literally one year. So remember guys, you continue to take care of me, I'm gonna continue to take care of you. So as far as the topic today, we're gonna be talking more about some RTX stuff, which obviously is no shocker because that's all anybody can talk about right now, um, but it's with specifically benchmarks and performance. So NVIDIA with this release was really weird. Jensen didn't give us any benchmarking when they originally announced these GPUs a couple weeks back. They went on and on about ray tracing, which we've already talked about why it's a cool technology and why I'm more excited for DLSS, their anti-aliasing technology, which ties in directly into these benchmarks. The 2080 Ti performance chart doesn't give us much to go off of. It has a 60 FPS bar that they released least showing you basically with the 2080 performance comparatively and then previous generations what we can expect. Now that doesn't give us actual any numbers because if you actually compare this to the 2080, which does give us some theoretical performance numbers for their games, um, it stands the reason that it looks like it may be kind of touching that 100 FPS area, which is exciting, except that there's no 4K monitors right now that it can even go that high with refresh rate unless you're willing to basically buy another computer's worth of monitor. So in terms of the actual performance, it's nice that we get a little bit of a caveat, um, you know, that they're willing to give us. But again, until we actually have these in our hands, we'll have no idea what the performance is because these are 4K benchmarks where still the vast majority of people play at 1080p. Although if you're going to be buying one of these new GPUs and you're not taking advantage of 4K, I kind of feel like you're going to be missing out. They also announced that they're going to be adding nine new games to the DLL, uh, DLSS, I should say, list of games that are going to be supported. I can't, you know, advocate for that enough. And for you guys who don't know, I've talked about this. DLSS is essentially an uh, AI technology that uses their tensor cores to create what's called inferencing, where it's just a new anti-aliasing technique that takes a lot of stress off the GPU, allowing for higher performance. So more games with that technology inside of them, I'm all for, which may tip the scales in making these GPUs actually worth the money that they're asking. Something that's interesting is that the 2070, which is not going to be coming out for a few months, has no NV link bridge. This is the placement to SLI. And I fully believe that's because they're actually going, they don't want to give people that performance option because I do believe based off the numbers that two 2070s would probably outperform a 2080 Ti for the same cost. So I think it's literally just more so they want people to pay for the highest GPU in their stack and, uh, you know, offering more performance and more value by giving a lower card, the ability to use the new MV link bridge, which essentially increases the overall bandwidth. It sounds to me like a money grab. So anyway, that's my personal opinion I could be completely wrong so guys I hope you like this little update you know as far as all this information you can check out directly with Nvidia because they released these slides earlier today and then as far as the videos I'm working on right now don't worry I haven't forgot the budget build I've been working on it so we're gonna get that out to you where I upgraded a 10 year old system with a new GPU and power supply I'm also gonna be overclocking this 4k monitor as I said there aren't any 4k monitors for under like a grand that go above 60 FPS and so I'm basically gonna see how far we can push this one which might uh, you know offer a budget option for people who want to get into 4K gaming with these new GPUs, but don't want to spend as much as they spend on the GPU as on a monitor. Kind of makes sense to me. And then I've got a couple of videos I'm working on. But as always, guys, if you like this video, you can leave me a big thumbs up. But if not, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit the bell icon because YouTube's algorithm sucks. And then also remember, um, if you want to become a patron or subscribe to me on Twitch because I do stream on the weekends, I will put your name at the end of my videos. Remember, you guys make such a big difference to me being able to buy things for the channel because I'm completely self-funded. And then um, thank you to everyone who continues to watch my videos and use my Amazon affiliate link as well. But remember that I'm going to make these videos because I love to make them, whether you watch them or not. But I hope to do and I hope to see all of you next time here on Geared Inc.